Hello and welcome back to my channel. I was weird. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're not going to be making a lure. We're going to be making... We're going to be making... It's going to be like a sculpture of some kind of trout. Um, this is going to be a birthday present for mom. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm just going to try to get accuracy and my paint job is going to be nice and I'm just going to do my best. And I'm probably going to put it on like a piece of wood, maybe even like super glue a little fly above it so it looks like it's about to go up and eat it. But yeah, uh, let's get to work. I just drew this out. Some kind of trout. Uh, I don't know, but it looks pretty scary. Um, this is going to be a present for my mom's birthday. This is not going to be a lure. This is going to be art, I hope. It might just be ugly thing. But let's hope it's going to be art. And it will be gifted, hopefully. But, yeah, so... I'm just going to go about doing this the same way, but I'm not going to seal it in super glue. I'm going to paint it to the best of my ability. I've got, um, I'm looking at some different paint schemes that I could think about. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty anxious to go about doing this. That's a lot of carving, and then I'm going to show you a new technique for carving out fins I, I learned. So, I don't know, but let's get to work. So I'm going to carve to these lines with this knife. Okay. okay, so as I was carving, didn't get very far, but I was thinking, you know, it might be slower, but it might be easier uh, to use another tool that I have. And that is a coping saw. I do own one of these. They're just, uh, the original blade it came with was really sharp and nice, but I accidentally broke that one. And, uh, this one's not as sharp, so it takes longer. But I'm gonna give it a shot to get some of these fins out, I think. That, I think that'll be easy. Well, probably not easy. Definitely not easy. Maybe faster? Not faster. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just going to do it. said about a coping saw back that was actually pretty fast and it worked pretty well so I have a bit of sanding because I made a little lobby in some spots because I'm not very good at keeping it on track but that was pretty pretty smooth so I'll do some sanding So I just went back with a knife and tuned some of those spots up a little bit and back to the sanding part. I might even use a file. I think I'm going to do that. Or a rasp. Okay, so I got that pretty sanded down. It does kind of look like a trout. So I think now I'm going to do that technique with the fins I was talking about. And how you do that is you take your pencil and trout fins... They're pretty thin, so you just draw a uh, center mark as best as you can. And then you do two on the side of that. You could be all fancy and measure it out, but I'm not going to do that. So it's like that. And then you take the two outside ones and bring them down. choose to make them thicker at the base or not but then 
Well, I'm gonna do this one for now. You take your saw, and you saw both of those lines all the way down to the base of the wheel. And you don't have to go all the way down because you are going to be carving this. And then you do the same thing on the other one. Okay, and hold on a sec. So, unfortunately, I don't really have a chisel, but I do have this, which is similar. But what you do is you take that and you want to start at the top and you kind of, a chisel would be better, but you chip it down. all the way down to the base and then you can smooth it and carve it out so okay so that took longer than I remember that technique taking but there it is it's Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna do that to the bottom, and I think I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do it to the main tail fin, but I think I'm just gonna carve that down when I'm working on my top profile. But I am gonna carve out gills and this fin, and I'm just gonna do some smaller details. Um, I'm not uh, fancy enough like Marlin Bates to carve out every single scale. But I can do some stuff. Like that. I'm gonna do the other one. And moving on. And there are those two fins done and now I think I am working on a top profile so I'll try to get that done okay so as you can see this one's pretty thin but I think it'll just work out just right so all I'm really gonna do is a very simple I don't like that and basic I'm just gonna freehand it Something like that. I'm going to carve those out. And there it is with the top profile mostly carved out. Uh, I'm going to work on it with some sandpaper now. Now 
now I am rounding off the edges. Nothing new here. Well, if there's nothing new here, then why am I still recording? It's a good question. Yet I find myself myself still recording. show you I'm just gonna say I'm pretty proud of this but oh, my goodness that is amazing phenomenal that is like just a good carving in general it totally looks like a trout that's pretty cool I'm pretty happy with that wow I'm gonna sand that now all right and the next step on this crazy thing is to get it all really sanded. And actually, now that I'm thinking of it, I'm not using that sandpaper. This was gifted to me for my birthday by my sister, but you can get it off of the Marlin Bates Amazon store. You can visit that page by looking at the link in the description for his most recent videos. So, what you do is you take out a strip. It cuts. You then put this in the rice cooker. And then you use it like a duck. I got that pretty sanded down, if I must say so for myself. That didn't really make any sense, but uh, I am going to do some fin detail, believe it or not. That stuff, I've never done that before. I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. And what you do for this step is you take your pencil. First, I'm going to draw out that curve. Ooh, that's stripped. Anyway, then you just kind of draw lines and you trace over them with a knife to score them. And then you follow that again, so. Something like that. And then, safety first. So then, I've got these little carving knives. I think I'm actually going to use the smallest one. This one, and just go over these lines, pressing down. Okay, I just attempted that. It's pretty bad, but I think maybe I can save it with some sandpaper. <laughs> and there it is, sand it out. Time to work on the other side.
Okay, and I went ahead and did the score marks and carved out all the ridges on all the fins, made them kind of wavy, but now I'm going to do the same process on the gills. And that goes out there with the beta lure. The knife. You can use this. And you trace over it. And then, once you're done with that, you go back at an angle and cut them out. And there it is. Uh, I decided not to do that because it wouldn't have worked out, but that looks pretty good. Looks a lot like a trout. And honestly, I'm pretty much on the painting already. Pretty cool. And I think this is going to be a rainbow trout. It just speaks rainbow trout to me. So, see you then. And there it is, ready for painting. Smooth and fish looking. Now, on trout, I actually have so this fin here I'm not gonna ignore it um, I'm gonna have it folded on the side so I'm just gonna take paper and draw it out cut it out and then airbrush that so um, it's gonna have some other fins but they're just gonna be on the side and yeah I'm gonna do a rainbow trout which is black back with a little green and then a very pinky red line and then white on the belly and tons and tons of spots like lots of spots so um i'm gonna start with a major base coat of white i'm not even gonna seal the wood yeah i'm not gonna seal the wood so let's start okay and starting with white Okay, and I really only did white on the belly and mostly the sides. Now I'm going to do a very light little green.
Okay, so I understand that that is like a very heavy green. I'm gonna go back over it with some white. That is not the end of my end of my lure. It's not gonna be that intense. That's yeah, that is correct. That is way too much. I would not do it like that. I got a strategy with my craziness. Uh, there's a saying to that, but I can't think of it right now. Okay, and moving on to a faint pink line. Seeing what just happened with that green, probably not going to be very faint. And that's not too bad. I am going to go over almost everything with white to really dull it down. Because that's that's really bright. It's not going to be that bad. Trust me. And moving on to a black back. Not too bad. Okay, so I just jumped forward a bit because uh, I did something that was really ugly. So I went back over it, and there it is. Less ugly. You can still see a little green in there. I'm going to go do my pink stripe again. I wanted it grayer up top, and then very white on the bottom, so kind of have that. Um, it's still pretty gray, and I don't really like that now, but I mean, rainbow trout are pretty gray, so I'm going to do a little bit more of that pinky color. And we'll see where we're at. And here we are with the pinky color.
Okay, so there's that. That does not look too bad. I'm going to do a tiny bit more green, and then I'm on to dots and stuff. So, moving along. Well, that there is pretty good. Pretty close to a rainbow trout, if I must say so for, my, for myself. But not as weird. This side's not as good. Too much pink. I might go over with a little bit more white. Uh, I might try white scales or something like that. Yeah, pretty cool. So tell down those colors. See what it looks like. So here we are doing our scales. Here we go. I'm just doing some white. Pretty intense. Do that to the other side. One, two, three, four. Four drops. Here we go. dry and we can take them off okay and those scales should be good let's see them time for the big reveal and there is our rainbow trout looks pretty good uh, I'm gonna give it a ton of spots and then we're on to clear coating I think I think I don't know. There it is. Nice. Gonna do some stuff with this fin. Okay. Wow, look at that with the spots. That looks amazing. Uh, I do realize I forgot to do the fin thing, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, and here we are going for our little side fin. I think we want it right about there. didn't really show up that much. You know what I could do? I could do that on both sides and then go around it with black. Well, that side showed up a lot, lot, lot more. I guess I'll redo it on this side. There we go. Went over the other side a bit more. It shows up a lot more there. Doesn't look too bad. I am going to go with a little black up here and make it fade into it a little bit more so you can see it. But we're almost done with that. I just got to do some eyes clear coating and some fin work. Coming along. Well, we are kind of done, so. Holy cow, that looks amazing. I just did a fin. Look at that. Now that's what we're looking for. Horror. Got the action on now. Yeehaw! Okay, uh, we're just about done here. That looks really close to done. Really good. Just gonna sit and look at that for a second. Gotta do it to the other side, but, mm, man, that's, that's awesome. 
just did that to the other side now they're matching and I'm gonna do some finishing touches like put some red around the gills glue some eyes on there do some fin detail might go over that with like some brown or something but that looks like a rainbow trout I did it woohoo celebration I don't know if I mentioned this or not but I'm thinking about putting this this is just a walnut board that we have lying around. I might mount it onto that. Wouldn't that look good? And what I could do was, since we fly fish and I have flies, I could just put a fly up above it and have it tilted up a little bit like it's about to eat the fly. I think that would be really awesome. So, yeah, I think that's just about it. Okay, so I just went back through, gave it some black fins. Hallelujah! That's amazing. Oh! Mom's gonna love that for her birthday. Which was yesterday. The 26th of November. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna glue some eyes on that, and then we're on to clear coating. Which is gonna be difficult. Because there's nothing to hold on to. Well... Since this is not a fishing lure, I'm not going to test it. Since it's art, I will give some final pictures in the end. Et voila! There it is with an eye, the gills, the fins. I even put a little connection there so I can hang it while it grip dries with the clear coat. I'm going to call that a success. And here, let me show you what it's eventually, eventually, if I can speak, going to fully look like. It's going to be all together on a big thing like that. I might even mount it, like super glue it or nail it or something. Well, I hope, as you saw, that was a pretty good video. It looked amazing, and I think my mom will love that for her birthday present. So, see you next time. Stay tuned.